Lucy Lepard is one of the original champions of feminist art. Throughout her career, she has documented and defended social and cultural upheaval and change. Her support and activism placed the growing feminist art movement on the map at a time when it was all but ignored. Her insights were a vital conduit between visionary women artists like Eva Hess and an uninterested public and recalcitrant art establishment. Lucy Lepard has curated more than 50 major exhibitions and has 21 books under her belt. Her contributions to defining the conceptual art movement of the late 1960s and the early 1970s will be the focus of the next exhibition here at the Elizabeth A. Sackler Center for Feminist Art, which will open this September. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Lucy Lepard, the first feminist art critic. This is really quite an amazing event. I, I, Linda's a hard act to follow. My only connection to Brooklyn really is, aside from coming to the shows here for years, is that my son has a studio in Brooklyn, so at least I have some. <laughs> and thank you to everybody at the Sackler Center for Feminist Art, and especially to Liz for her vision and persistence. Rumor had it that somebody wanted it called the Center for Women's Art, and Liz said it was feminist art. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> And thanks to my fellow New Mexican and pal of over 50 years, Judy Chicago, whose dinner party provided the impetus for all this to happen. It's very exciting to be invited to this particular party. I'm, I can't wait to say I'm a firstie. <laughs> and thanks too to Linda Nochlin, who recreated art history in Eve's image, and to all the other artists and art historians and art writers who have inspired us. I feel kind of awkward about awards because everything I know about art, I learned from artists women and men, feminists, activists, conceptualists, minimalists, public artists, heretics, photographers, DYI collectives, and so forth. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here. Collaboration is an extension of the collage aesthetic that's been a staple of feminist art. Brainstorming and working with other women changed my life. In our common search for an inclusive art world, or rather a broader world that accepts art as a necessary part of human experience, we've made some strides. But there's still a lot to be done. Artists work between the questions and the answers, finding ways to envision alternative futures. One of the uh, inter most interesting Occupy signs was, I'll be post-feminist in the post-patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Mars just reminded me of that before just a minute ago or so. Uh, a lot of us here have said for a long time that post-feminism will arrive only in the post-patriarchy patriarchy, or when all our goals are met. But even in that utopian moment, we'll still be feminists because feminism isn't just a, an, and a strategy or a style or anything. It's a way of life. So thank you very much for everything.